What is common ground? This question, and it's a good one, comes from Arthur in Willows, California. I wonder where that is. <laughs> I should probably take the time to look these up. Um, Arthur writes, I currently run a Klipsch a Klipsch surround, you try and say that, a Klipsch surround sound system powered by a Pioneer Elite receiver. I found that a, a great deal on a pair of Poke SDA1s. Oh, we were just talking about those yesterday. Yeah, that stereo dimensional arrays. Ha! Uh, and they require a common ground receiver. So how do I find out if a receiver is common ground? W uh, wouldn't all receivers be common ground? And for that matter, what the hell is <laughs> common ground, please, anyway? All right, Arthur. So, yeah. Uh, today, fewer and fewer products have a common ground, not the other way around. So let's see if we can, oh, here, I'm going to show you something. So if you look at the back of this amplifier, this is a, a 250, a BHK 250. So on the back of this amplifier, you, you note, for, forget that we have multiple, because if, if people want to buy wire, that's why we have that. So here's one channel. And it, there's two reds and then two blacks, okay? But let's just, we'll just eliminate one, one pair and just focus on one. So in a typical amplifier, the red terminal, the plus terminal, is where the signal is. And the black terminal, the minus, is where the signal isn't. It's called ground or a common ground. Now, if that is the case, where your amplifier has signal on the hot or the red terminal and no signal on the black terminal, then it's what we call common ground. And you can now take and if you want to, you can tie this black terminal to this other black terminal without any effect. Now you know that if you had this amplifier <coughs> and the, the red terminal, we, as we said, is putting out the power, right? And then this is the return, the ground, where it comes back through and we close the circuit. You, you wouldn't take the left channel output and connect it directly up to the right channel output, right? Because the two things would be fighting each other. You wouldn't want to do that. That wouldn't make any sense uh, for a number of reasons, right? Well, it's OK to do it with the grounds because there's no signal on them. They're just the return. So let's discuss first why you'd want to do that. Why would the pokes care about that? And then I'll tell you about amps that aren't common grounds. So. In the Polk SDA series, you basically had a cross-connected set of drivers. So in one speaker, let's say the left speaker, there was a driver from the right channel, and it was out of phase, and that's what gave you this, this, this holographic uh, effect where it was, um, it, it's, it's, it's a type of cancellation where the out of phase signal from the right hits the left ear and does this cancellation so that it's kind of like wearing headphones in a way, so that the left ear doesn't hear what the right speaker is doing and the right ear doesn't hear what the left speaker is doing. And you do that by active cancellation. Um, it, and, and we'll talk about that because it's, it's, I've spent years, I've got a couple of patents out there based on this, top, uh, this technology. And it's pretty cool stuff. But in any case, so in order to do that, we had to have a common ground because we're swapping left and right and, and all that kind of good stuff. And many subwoofers today, like RELs, if you have a common ground, you can use the output here to feed the subwoofer, but only if you have a common ground without any signal on it. Now, increasingly today, and this is true of I think the entire Stellar line from PS Audio, we have, it's not ground. The black terminal, the minus terminal, has a signal just like the red terminal. And they are out of phase with each other. So as one is pushing, the other is pulling. And that's pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. And between those two, you place your speaker, 
and it drives your drivers in the speaker and you get sound out of it, okay? That's a type of amplifier that has a balanced output. So that balanced output <coughs> means that the, the, the red and the black are both active. And so just as you don't want to take the red terminal of the left channel and tie it to the red terminal of the right channel, you also don't want to take the active black terminal from one channel, tie it to the active of another one, because it's not a common ground. Okay? Does that make sense? So, um, always check with your manufacturer to find out if it has a common ground or not before doing anything like hooking up those pokes or a subwoofer, etc. Otherwise, it don't really matter. It, you, know, it, it, you don't need to know that if you're not trying to cross-connect to them. So if you're just hooking it up to speakers, no big deal. Okay? All right. Thanks. Great question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.